Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In the past few years, the Chinese company ZTE transferred and sold five 5G related patents it applied for to a US company called G Plus Communications. Then, G Plus Company discovered that South Korea's Samsung had infringed on these patents, so it filed a lawsuit against Samsung in court. In January 2024, the US court ruled that Samsung had infringed two of the patents and required Samsung to compensate 67.5 million US dollars in licensing fees, equivalent to approximately 480 million renminbi. However, just when Samsung admitted its failure and wanted to compensate according to the rules, he never expected that the ups and downs in his life would come too quickly. In April, the American judge went back and recalculated. Sorry, the calculation was wrong before. The correct amount should be 142 million US dollars, equivalent to 1 billion yuan. More than doubled than before. It is worth mentioning that when the compensation was awarded at 67.5 million US dollars, the value of these two patents was already among the highest in the world. Even they themselves did not expect that just a few months later, their worth would rise like a rocket. This has confused Samsung. What happened? How did the amount of compensation become so large? Am I not taken advantage of? In this regard, the jury in the second trial of the US court gave a corresponding explanation. They said that they had previously thought that these license fees were continuous usage fees rather than one-time usage fees. To put it simply, the specific infringing 5G products should cover all Samsung 5G products, so the amount of compensation will be greatly increased. The sharp increase from 67.5 million US dollars to 142 million US dollar makes Samsung want to cry without tears. However, this also makes it the most expensive 5G patent in China's history, and it also gives China's 5G patents authority. I didn't expect patents to be so valuable. Now, the Chinese people are also proud. Some people may ask, with such a high amount of compensation, can ZTE get a share of the pie? According to industry insiders, there was an agreement between the two parties. In addition to the transfer fee, ZTE also holds 20% of the income rights from the transferred patent. In other words, ZTE can get 28.4 million US dollars. Of course, this is just speculation from the outside world. As for the real situation, we don't know. But one thing is clear, China's 5G core patents are really valuable. China's 5G patent scale. According to the Research Report on Global 5G Standard Essential Patents and Standard Proposals, 2023, released by the China Academy of Information and Communications Technology, ZTE ranks fourth in the global 5G patent rankings in terms of the proportion of effective global patent families. Ranking first is Huawei, accounting for 14.59%, followed by Qualcomm of the United States, accounting for 10.04%, and Samsung of South Korea, accounting for 8.8%. Data released by the China State Intellectual Property Office shows that in 2022, Huawei ranked first in the number of domestic invention patent authorizations with 5,805 patents. In terms of 5G patents, in 2022, there will be more than 210,000 5G standard essential patents declared globally. In terms of applicant ranking, Huawei has declared more than 6,500 5G standard essential patent families, accounting for 14%, ranking first in the world. At this moment, there is nothing wrong with saying Huawei is far ahead, right? Of course, Huawei's ability to achieve such results is inseparable from its huge investment in research and development. Relevant data shows that Huawei has invested more than 977.3 billion yuan in research and development expenses in the past 10 years. Huawei founder Ren Jingfei once said that R&D is not just about spending money, but more importantly, talent. To this end, 
Huawei uses double or even triple salaries to recruit top talents from around the world. By the end of 2022, Huawei had more than 114,000 R&D employees, accounting for 55.4% of the total number of employees, invested 161.5 billion yuan in R&D, and the R&D expense rate was 25.1%. At the same time, Huawei stated externally that it insists on investing more than 10% of its sales revenue into research and development every year. As of the end of 2022, Huawei holds more than 120,000 valid authorized patents worldwide, including more than 40,000 in China and Europe, and more than 20,000 in the United States. Some people may be curious. ZTE has received such huge income from its two 5G patents, so how much patent fees can Huawei collect in a year? Public data shows that in 2022, Huawei's patent licensing revenue has reached 560 million US dollars. And this is the second consecutive year that patent revenue is greater than patent expenditure. In the past eight years, Huawei's revenue from patents was 3.16 billion US dollars, equivalent to approximately 22.7 billion renminbi. Moreover, Huawei's patents not only involve 5G, but also include Wi Fi connection, optical transmission, optical intelligence, audio and video, autonomous driving, software technology, etc. In other words, as long as Huawei's patented fields are used, whether it is mobile phones, communications, or smart driving, the money still has to be paid. For example, in terms of charging standards for mobile phone patent licenses, Huawei charges a patent fee of no more than two US dollars and 50 cents, equivalent to approximately 18 yuan in RMB, for 5G mobile phones. By the end of 2022, approximately 350 million 5G mobile phones have been approved by Huawei's patents. In other words, this revenue alone is as high as 875 million US dollars, equivalent to approximately 6.28 billion yuan in RMB. And this is already considered the lowest charging standard in the world. In comparison, Qualcomm's patent fees in the United States are terrible. For example, if Qualcomm's standard essential patents are used and the phone only supports 5G, Qualcomm will charge 2.275% of the selling price of the whole phone. If it is a multi-mode mobile phone, supporting 3G, 4G, 5G, 3.25% of the selling price will be charged. If you use Qualcomm's standard essential patents plus non-standard essential patents, then unfortunately, 5% of the selling price of the whole machine will be charged. However, Qualcomm has said that the upper limit of patents is US$400 per unit, which means that any price exceeding US$400 will be calculated as US$400. Compared with Huawei, which calculates based on quantity, Qualcomm calculates based on selling price. It is really too dark, and it is a patent troll. Because of this, in fiscal year 2022, Qualcomm's technology licensing business revenue reached 6.358 billion US dollars, approximately 45.5 billion renminbi, accounting for 14.38% of overall revenue. Data shows that in seven years, Qualcomm earned 1.5 trillion yuan in 5G patent fees from China. It can be said that relying on patent fees to obtain revenue is really a good way to make money. Now you know why domestic communication companies are spending so much money on research and development, right?